Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <laughs> I am smiling because uh, this is another video I'm, I've been trying to do. And it seems like when I start, something goes on or um, noise overshadows the video. Or And then just a few minutes ago, I was almost finished and a siren went off. So, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm starting over again. I cannot tell you how many runs this is. <laughs> this is but um i want to talk about this video talk about this dream that i had um i was shown last night and i know that it meant a great deal to the lord i know it meant a great great deal to the lord and um i'm going to discuss it um as well because um i just want to make sure that you know everyone get the explanation um, that I received from it. Now, if you get another, um, explanation for it, please feel free to drop it at the bottom of the comment section. Um, <clears throat> but this dream that I was shown, it was, um, it was nothing but teenager, teenager boys, a, a group of teenager boys. I'm going to stop right there. Do I mean that the Lord do not care about the teenager girls? I did not say that. The reason why I am stopping y'all, because you will be surprised at what will be told to people to make it seem like um, you're spreading false things. And they'll say, oh, well, she said this about the teenager boys. She didn't even mention the girls. So that means the Lord care for the girls. <laughs> um, the, Lord, the Lord didn't show you anything about what the, what, what the teenager girls be doing. You know, I'm telling you, it's all type of things. And I just thank God for building me up because let me tell you, back then, I think I didn't just have as tough skin as I have now. And I thank God for bringing me through that because um, I probably would have stopped because all the different things that were um, that were told to me. Or, you know, you don't get, you didn't get this. And I'm just like, <laughs> Lord. And, and another thing is this, um, with your videos, and this is for anybody, if God showed you the videos, I mean, your dreams and visions, and you fasted and prayed and God showed you again, the same dreams and visions and you, he's talking to you, please. And ask him, do you want to put it out? Please do what he says, because let me tell you. A lot of people will deter you from what God has shown you. And then you'll start questioning yourself. Like, did God show me this? And then you'll go back. Some people will just stop. But you have some some people that will keep on going. They will keep fasting and praying. Keep fasting and praying on, okay, this if God is this is what you showed me, show me again. And they'll fast and pray. And God will show them again. And then God will bring confirmation. So with all that being said, continue to go. And if people are going to interpret, people I've learned, people are going to interpret dreams and visions the way they want. Whether you show, whether you saying that this is what God showed you, they're going to interpret the way they want. So it doesn't matter what they say. Only person that matters is what God says. And at the end of the day, if God said it, then it's truth. If God didn't say it, then it won't come to pass. But it'll be sad when it, it's sad when it does come to pass. And you were warned, but you was just so in your on your high horse that you didn't believe. So um, I get a lot of messages come through that you know I don't say this because I get looked at this way. I don't say that because it's, and I'm just like speak what God showed you. It doesn't matter what people say. It shouldn't. It should have never mattered what people say. If God didn't showed you what He showed you, please, and He told you to put it out there. Then, then listen and obey and sit back and just trust. Um, so with this video, I'm saying it now because you'll be surprised what the messages, not that you don't see, but the messages that I get, um, that I receive email or um, text messages or he say, she say, or um, Instagram messages that, oh, well, I saw your video and you didn't talk about this. So, do the Lord care for girls? So, yeah. But in this dream, um, um, I was shown some teenager boys. 
Now, these boys, they were ruthless. They were disrespectful. They were in the streets. They were stealing. You name it, they were doing. And they were high school boys. I know they were high school. And they didn't really come to school. You know, when you're in the streets, you don't have time to come to school. You know, you think school is like a big, like a distraction or, you know, they're they're not teaching me anything. But <clears throat> this particular day, they came to school. And let me tell you, I know, I, 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 from in the dream, I knew that the teachers didn't even want them to come. Like, they didn't say it, but I just, because they were so ruthless. They were so disrespectful. And there was nothing that school could do. They could suspend them, but like I said, they didn't care. They didn't, they did not care. And so when the boys, um, when I walked in the classroom, of course, um, the boys, they were ruthless. So I got their attention. I got their attention. And uh, <laughs> I got their attention. I remember I was hollering, but not hollering, like going crazy. I was like, hey, listen up. So, you know, I got their attention. And once I started talking about the Lord, you should have seen how like their eyes um, was just glued to me. Now, I'm trying to paint a, a picture, you know, when, 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 um, when you, for the first time when you see something and it got your attention, you just like, what? So that's how it was. And, um, when I was talking about the Lord and I was just letting them know, um, how much the Lord cared for them, how much, you know, um, that, I mean, how much the Lord cared for them and, um, talking to them about sin and talking to them about the love and talking to them, talking to them about the Lord's plans and how, you know, Jesus have a plan for their lives. Like you should, it was so amazing. Like they, they couldn't say nothing. They was just still listening. Like they was just, this is something like foreign to them. Like they never heard of it. They were so interested. Now keep in mind, like I said, these boys were ruthless. They, they were ruthless. And so to hear someone talk about the Lord, to hear someone genuinely break everything down to them about the gospel, about the Holy Spirit, um, about the commandments, you know, a teaching just to break. Because I know I supposed to be teaching something else, but I didn't like I purposely for some re for some reason I knew that I was only there to teach them about this. Like I wasn't even a teacher in the classroom, but for some reason <laughs> I was purposely there to teach them about the Lord and they, their whole attitude change, their whole demeanor change, everything about them changed. I didn't see the change, but I knew they changed. I knew, um, God didn't let me see their changes in their lives. He just let me see how their heart was changed. Like, like it's, it's hard to explain. Like I knew from them hearing, just hearing about the gospel and having someone to break it down, their hearts change. Their hearts changed. Now, like I said, I knew that these boys were ruthless. They was they were disrespectful. They did not care. And I think they only came to school just because maybe to mess with some girls or something or to cause to cause a scene, to, to you know, cause trouble. But that day they thought it was something they 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 thought it was like the regular, but they did not get the regular. <laughs> they got the word that day. And their hearts were changed. The Lord cares about our youth. He cares about those boys that you know that people are probably saying, "Oh, he's just a um, he's just a troublemaker." Or he's you know, because so many things you know they have a whole slate of things they have done, and so you know, mom is tired. Mom is tired. Not saying she give she gives up, but she's tired because every you know every time we look around, she's getting a call. Junior did this. Junior did that. Junior, and so sometimes people start to look at the parents like you know you cannot get them under control when Mama is probably by herself and she did all she can do. The only thing she's been doing is praying. So, um, 
I just think that um, the Lord was just showing us that we all need to reach out to our youth. We need to pray for our youth and know that letting them hear the gospel. Now, breaking it down, I have been to churches before where the teachings, I didn't understand the teachings, you know, and um, the teachings was, woo, you know, over your head. And you just like, um, and you wonder why people people are not changing they don't understand they don't understand in your and been in sunday school classes where the children are still not learning they're not you know they're not understanding they don't know anything about the holy spirit they don't know anything about you know um the ten commandments they don't know about true repentance so their lifestyle they are not changed so um <clears throat> but when i know in a dream that I was breaking everything down. And let me, I want to tell, I want to say this. I knew from that dream that it was not me that was teaching the boys because some of the things that were coming out of my mouth, I was, it's like I was taking a seat myself looking at me speak. And some of the stuff that I didn't even know that I was just like, you know? So I just um, encourage everyone to pray don't stop praying for um junior that's over there and and I want to say let me bring up the, the females let me bring up the teenage girls yes don't stop praying for Sarah Lee don't stop praying for um Jessica don't stop praying you know don't stop praying for junior even though you see juniors getting in trouble believe in your heart believe in the Lord that's what I see say believe in the Lord and know that God can change them with prayer you know, believe it and don't give up on them and show them a lot of our youth. Um, there's not examples. They don't have no one to even, you know, model what, how to be a, a true Christian. They don't have father figures. Some of them don't have father figures. Some of them don't have mother figures because, um, some, some of the youth here, even though, you know, I'm an elementary teacher, um, some of the youth here don't even have their mo mothers. So, you know, um, there are not many examples out here. So please take this to the Lord and let's pray for our youth um, because God can transform their hearts. And just by listening to the gospel, some people that you never met before, but you know, just by, just by you hearing what they're saying and, you know, um, your lifestyle changed or you stopped doing this or you stopped doing that sin or you still, you know, because you didn't know, or, because you um, pray to the Lord about this particular situation and God showed you just from listening to her and how she went through and it encouraged you to, um, you know, that you know you can do this. So let's not stop praying for our youth. Let's pray for these um, these difficult situations because it's just crazy that um, um, a lot of people give up so fast, um, and we should not give up on, give up on our youth or give up on, on any situation. Some people, they'll just, um, they hear something about you and then they're done. And I just, I just praise the Lord that he's not like that because we all didn't have it together. We all didn't have it together. Now, if you want to act like you have it together, then it's you, but we all did not have it together at all. We all were in the world. We all did different things that had people question like, what? You know, even with ministry, um, I know when I was coming into ministry, it's some people that I followed that I found out that were not, they weren't right. They were not right. And um, I didn't talk about that before. As a matter of fact, I think last year I even made a um, a video about that Um following the wrong people, you know, and I just thank God that he, um, tur he turned, he turned it around. I thank God for that, but people don't understand and they don't, they don't see, um, what you went through. Instead, they just know that, oh, well, she did this. Oh, well, she said that. So yeah, we're going to leave her alone. Or he did this and he did that. Yeah, we're going to leave her alone. And these, um, these supposed to be, you know, um, our brothers and sisters in Christ. And it's so it's a shame how our brothers and sisters in Christ would give up on you. But I just thank God that 
you know, he doesn't give up. That's why we just have to put all our trust and our focus on the Lord because he will never leave us or forsake us. Even when people are done with you or people throw you to the side or people gossip about you, God is right there. He's right there. He's our strength. He's everything to us. So if you don't have a relationship, I pray and I encourage you to build your relationship because the things that are going, the things that are coming, you're going to need to cling to the Lord now more than ever. I will want to cling to the Lord going through situations when, you know, I could have clinged to the Lord before situations um, occurred. All right, you guys, y'all be blessed and take this message. Like I tell it, um, majority of all my messages, please take it to the Lord, pray over it. Ask the Lord if she's telling the truth, you know, I want you to go to the Lord anyway, but ask the Lord, you know, Jesus is, this is what you said. This is what you showed her. Um, you know, so you guys can understand or see what God is doing. Um, because a lot of people are not praying for the youth. A lot of people are giving up. A lot of people are tired. A lot of people are not even saying anything. They just turn a blind eye to the youth. So don't give up on the youth. Y'all be encouraged.